Are you considering being that new leader? Well, you know, that's a very difficult decision to make. Uh, we don't even know what the process is going to look like at this point in time. Uh, it'll take probably any serious contender uh, will take uh, at least a few days to think about it. And uh, I definitely will not discount the possibility. But at this point in time, uh, I haven't even had a chance to speak with my family. Have you heard from your constituents at all about their reaction to last night? You know, uh, yeah, I think uh, people are shocked. Uh, relevant to how quickly everything progressed um, but at the same time uh, my constituents spoken with members of my board they, they know that this government is reflective of the vision of Albertans uh, that uh, it was a very progressive vision uh, they, they really supported the budget they should have supported the vision of the government so they want us to carry on without the distractions that we had up to now. What do you think is on hold now or what goes forward? You said reprofile but I'm just thinking there must be things well, that are it, Nothing really should be on hold uh, you know I, in my ministry I can tell you I'm carrying on with, with the announcement and the work that I have been carrying on. That's my number one responsibility, uh, get the job done. But in the meantime, you know, we can walk and chew gum at the same time. In the meantime, we will be looking at the selection process of a, of a new leader, and, and that's that's the kind of back, background work that's going to be done. But ministers will be fully expected to, uh, to carry on with the work that they do. What the do you think the downfall was of Alison Redford? What do you think was the downfall of her? You know, it, hard to tell. Um, uh, Obviously, many many aspects played into it. Uh, uh, I think historians uh, will have to take on the role of judging uh, what what their reasons were. That's not for me to judge. The opposition has said the government is going to be distracted with this leadership race and won't be able to carry on across the government. Well, unfortunately, you know, this opposition has to capitalize on uh, on what they perceive to be weaknesses in others, as opposed to try to rely on their own strengths because they're grossly are lacking in those. Uh, so they can say what they want. They have always been critical and they will remain to be critical no matter what happens into the future. Uh, but the fact is that this government has a very high caliber of caucus members. We, we've been very lucky in the last election to attract um, Albertans from all walks of life, uh, uh, all um, orders of education and, 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 and just a, a cross-section of what real Alberta is about. And it will not be difficult for the new leader to put together a solid cabinet team and just carry on with the plan and obviously modify it. Every leader puts uh, his or her own stamp on, on government. Do you think it should be a quick leadership or a bit longer, three months or six months? Which would, which would you prefer? Well, that will be up to the party to decide, but uh, obviously nobody wants to prolong, unnecessarily prolong the process. Uh, I imagine uh, that the party will be more interested in a, in a quicker resolution than longer, but, but again, that is up to party and party executive to choose. Uh, and what about you? What about me? What uh, I'm not a party executive, so I won't have any say in that. Leadership races are often highly divisive. Are you concerned about this being a further blow to the unity of the party? Well, but they can also be a refresh button uh, at the same time. Uh, I, this team, uh, in the mid-term of, of, uh, of our uh, um, of, of our electoral term is is uh, very much focused on delivering on promises to Albertans and providing Albertans with a solid government. So um, obviously uh, politicians at the end of the day are humans and, and, and there are um, some divisions but the fact is that uh, working for Albertans and focusing on, on, on our number one priority being governing um, in the interest of Albertans uh, will, will overcome that. Thank you. Thank you everybody. <laughs> I don't want you to go in. How, how quick do things change? <laughs>